let's talk a little bit about the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, there's been some buzz around the media, on the internet, in the forums, people talking about do the Falcons, should they move off of Marcus Mariota? This offense, it hasn't looked quite like what we want it to. Uh, is Desmond Ritter the answer? And we here, we're about to tell you why we think it has been a good idea to stick with Marcus Mariota and why it will continue to be a good idea to stick with him throughout the remainder of this season, Nick. But before I let you get into this one, and folks, it is very interesting, so you're going to want to stay tuned for this. Uh, Nick, we want to ask the Falcons fans in the comments below, uh, what is your win total going to be like for the rest of the season? When I glance at the schedule ahead, Nick, the Falcons have a pretty good opportunity here because uh, of their next seven games, Nick, only one team is above 500. So there's a lot of teams that I think the Falcons can come in and uh, play some really good football against, which they've been playing good football. And I think they can beat a lot of these teams. So Falcons fans, let us know in the comments below. What do you think your win total, uh, what the record is going to be, however you want to slice it up uh, in the comments below at the end of the season. But Nick, what do you got on the Falcons? Yeah, so you brought up there have been some rumblings in the media about, you know, is it time to move off Marcus Mariota and, and transfer into Desmond Ritter? And, and, and the Falcons head coach, Arthur Smith, had this to say after the most recent the most recent game. Smith said, quote, there's no situation. There was there was never a situation ever. You understand why the questions get asked, Smith said. You lose two games in five days and everybody wants to panic. But we're right in the middle of it. We're not where we want to be, but the reality is we're right in the middle of a playoff race with a conference opponent coming in here in a game we need to win. And my Arthur Smith here is right on the money because obviously after a couple tough losses, Mariota hasn't looked particularly good in either of those losses. The Falcons are right in the thick of a playoff hunt. They're one game out behind the Buccaneers for first place in the NFC South, and they played the Buccaneers, frankly, to a dead stand still. A bad call against Grady Jarrett, maybe that game goes the other way if that call doesn't happen. So the Falcons are not in panic mode. You move to a young quarterback, a rookie quarterback, when you're in panic mode. It never works well for a team when you're this close in the thick of a playoff hunt to transition out of your starting veteran quarterback into a young guy unless that young guy is like a Heisman Trophy winner you know two-time national championship like generational talent that comes around once in a million you just need to give him the football when you uh, move in these situations it is a panic move and it never really works out but I want to talk about something else for the Atlanta Falcons because one thing they absolutely have to know for the long term is, is if Marcus Marta is the guy because the reality is going into next season he takes on a 15 million dollar cap hit if they choose to keep him on the active roster for 2023 so the Falcons really need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt if Marty, Mariota is their guy moving forward. And if they move off him now, if they do like the kind of switch game here, play Desmond Ritter a little bit, Marcus Mariota for a little bit, try and just split time between them, they could potentially cloud their judgment there and not know if Mariota is the guy and kind of try and hedge their bets. That puts them in a bad cap situation going to next year where they're really all in to make big moves in the free agency with all the cap space they should have now that Matt Ryan and Julio Jones will, will be off the books in 2023. So again, Arthur Smith is making the 100% right move here by not panicking. So focusing on the short term, right there in the middle of the playoff hunt, and also focusing on the long term, continuing to evaluate Marcus Mariota to figure out if he is the guy for 2023 for salary cap reasons. Yeah, Nick, and I really love your point talking about how if you're in the playoff hunt in your division, you're only one game out, you're right there at the precipice of making it to the playoffs. I, I don't think you change anything up. You got a formula. Like we've talked about, they're trying to build a new winning culture down in Atlanta. Uh, they want to get things done. And Mariota, quite frankly, he has been getting it done. They have been dealing with injuries on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, but if you go back and look at their wins, Nick, they've had some big wins this season. They beat a good Seattle team. You know, they go and beat a good 49ers team. So there's a lot of good wins on the books for the Falcons. There's a lot of stuff to build upon. When they lose to teams, Nick, most of the time, they are very, very close losses. They're in most every game that they have played this season. And like we've said, don't move off of something that's working. If you just need a little bit here, a little bit there for things to go your way, I think the team is now getting healthier on the offensive side of the ball. There's still a couple of pieces that need to get healthy on the defensive side of the ball for this team to be exactly where they need to be a la Arthur Smith saying we're not quite where we want to be, both in the standings, I'm sure, and on the field per personnel-wise. But I think this Falcons team can string some stuff together and then get things going, Nick, because this is an offense who, per PFF at this point in time, they're the fifth-ranked offense in the NFL. 
They have the fourth ranked special teams in the NFL. Young Hoku's a great kicker. I know he's had some struggles as well in the past few weeks, but overall, historically, he's an excellent kicker. And and the defense is right where it's supposed to be in, in mid 20s. So just this team, I think they need to play it out, see what happens, and try to get yourself into the playoffs, Nick. Yeah, you're 100% right. And you brought up the fact about uh, a winning culture, and that's really important because that's what Arthur Smith came over from Tennessee because Tennessee with Mike Rabel, they have that winning culture. The Titans always seem to be competitive even when they have injuries, even when they're not great at certain positions. And that's the problem with Atlanta the last few years. They've been just in a rut. I think they've had nothing. I think 18, 19, 20, 21, four straight losing seasons. My math's right there. I think 2017 was the last year they had a winning season. They won 10 games, made the playoffs, lost to Philly in Philly in the playoffs. So they didn't make a real deep playoff run there. So this is a Falcons team that really hasn't had a lot of success the last three, four years. That Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Salad Bowl days, those guys are all gone. The coaches are all gone. So it's kind of a new regime, new era here. And you're exactly right. You need to establish the winning culture and the way you do that is putting the best players on the field and if to be honest if Desmond Ritter was blowing it up in practice and, and outplaying Marcus Mariota and driving for more time on the playing field on Sundays we would have heard about it because you know everyone would have reported on it and the reality is rookie quarterbacks this year everyone talked about it not being a great class so far the two herald, top heralded rookie quarterbacks outside of Ritter you're looking at Kenny Pickett uh, for Pittsburgh, Malik Willis for Tennessee. Neither of them in the playing time they've had has have played very well at all. You look at Pickett, he's two and four with two TDs, eight picks, 69 passer rating. That's terrible. Of course, Malik Willis has only a 41 passer rating in the time he's played with the Tennessee Titans. So again, there is no evidence to indicate that going to Ritter here in this situation would be an upgrade over Mariota. So the Arthur Smith and the Falcons are doing the right thing. They have the right mentality. Do you play to win the game like Herm Edwards famously said? That's what Arthur Smith is doing here. And Falcons fans, you should be believed that he's doing that and not giving into the media temptation here. <laughs>